Hey, it's Necktie. Welcome to episode 56 of Road to 5 Million. And in this one, we're going to continue our trek south from Coldfoot. But first, we're going to talk about mods. If you're not into that, timestamp down below. Skip past it to the driving portion. Let's get into it. So I had a subscriber. I'm assuming he's a subscriber. If he's not, he better be after this. I'm pretty sure he is. Anyway, Da Gambino left a comment. Sorry, I just, I love that name, Da Gambino. Anyway, he left a comment on episode 53 and said he would like to see the mods I'm running in a video. I don't necessarily need to do a dedicated video for that. So I commented and let him know that I will start out episode 56 with that. So let's cover that. Now, if you remember where you've been following the series in episode 50, no, in episode two, what the Jesus, in episode two, I actually covered some of this, but I didn't, you know, go a detailed list of the mods I'm running. Um, pay no attention to this over here. See how there's not green dots they're not in this profile um yet i'm trying to figure it out because this you think the ruta 389 is a sweet truck <sighs> um anyway focus tie so let's start at the bottom and i'll kind of explain this a little bit as i go along so over here on the left right these are all the mods that you've downloaded if it has this little Steam Workshop, obviously you subscribe to it from the Steam Workshop. And it just shows up here. These that don't have the Steam Workshop ones are the ones that you download from the internet. And then you have to actually place in your mod folder. Which if you want to know how to do that, I direct you to episode 2 of Road to 5 Million. Over here on the right, the active mods. I'm going to do this in two steps because, or I'm going to cover two birds with one stone here. Kill two birds with one stone would be the correct phrase. It's confusing because, see, you have increased priority, right? Pointing up. So you would think that this is the most important one. I mean, I guess it is. But the way the game loads these is from bottom to top. So that's how you need to think about your load order. And every website I've seen, that's basically... Now, there's... Does your load order have to be exactly like this? Not necessarily. You may be running something else that works just fine. Great. I get my load order from GMC Logistics, I believe it is. I will have a link down in the description to their website. And if it's not GMC Logistics, obviously you will see something pop on the screen calling me an idiot per usual with the correction. All right, so let's get into this. So the way you need to think about the game loading is the environment right so your maps and you can't just do this willy-nilly either like there's a map order that you need to do for example we have alaska north of the future then i have the reforma mega resources then the reforma map itself on top of that montana expansion and then the assets for montana expansion and then you go into the Pro Mods Canada. And then on top of that, you have the Alaska North to the Future to Pro Mods Canada road connection. So now you have your, your map, right? Well, then you need your truck. So then your truck stuff goes. Typically, from what I've read, it's recommended one truck per profile to keep things easier on my main profile i've got like three trucks and things are running fine it's hit or miss right but then again you can only drive one damn truck at a time so there's that so then you'll put your truck stuff and like this is the ruta 389 when you buy his truck and download it he has again instructions also screenshots on where on how the order should be. So I have my truck. And the open def is because I have the decals that I put on the truck. So if you don't 
do any of that stuff to your truck, you wouldn't have that. And if you're getting a free truck from Steam, you're not going to have a def file anyway, so don't even worry about it. And then you, my trailers. These are from the Ruta trailer pack. And then this is Penga's Fontaine Renegade, which is also on Steam. I just got it from his website. So truck, then trailers. Then you get into your truck skin packs or paint jobs that you've downloaded from Steam. And then I don't know if this is where this one's supposed to go, but this is the real logos for John Ruta mods. I just figured since it was part of the truck that I put it on top of the truck. And then after that, so you have trucks, trailers, and now the stuff that you put on the trucks, right? And then you have all of your cargo packs you're running. And I'm going to go slow here, so if people want to pause and screenshot or whatever. The other thing is, I have all of these listed in a Google Docs document down below. Word of caution, the Steam mods are just listed. There's not links for those because open up the Steam Workshop and search for them. I could put an individual link for each mod, but every time you click on that link, it's just going to open up the Steam Workshop anyway. So it's I just figured it'd be easier to list them. But all of these are listed there. So these are all the cargo packs. And then we get into the AI traffic packs. So this painted truck traffic pack adds, obviously you can see the Saya Freight, adds actual, I think it's 147 real companies that that adds in. And then the classic cars and then just the regular AI traffic pack. Daniel's random ATS events. That's the emergency vehicles you're gonna see on the side of the road, basically, or car crashes, that sort of thing. Intermittent long trains. There's actually one that's up to a mile as well. And then I have the advanced SCS traffic. I was running the traffic density by CIP, but I'm liking this one better because it's not as crazy. So then once you have that, now you have the other stuff you can add to your truck, like steering wheels, tires, rims more wheels which those could probably be down one but again it's fine and then this trucks and trailers flare pack that's from john ruda and then you just go into more of your your interior stuff for trucks right the cecil's mega pack scs cabin accessory support and then this is more ruda stuff his compatibility pack for cecil's mega pack and then also his compatibility for ATS accessories and the wheels compatibility and then there's a Pete 389 accessory pack this is on Steam and I believe this is for the SCS the base game trucks and then I have my transmissions right because you put transmissions in your trucks running the Eaton Fuller real transmission mod and then the cast add-on, again, if you don't have any payware trucks or whatnot like that, you may not have this, but I have this because I added the Ruta 389 to this mod, so I can have access to these transmissions in that truck. And then you just get to kind of your in environment, I guess you would call it, environment, whatever, but your real billboards, another... Uh, this trailer pack also adds real world companies to trailers. The more I'm thinking about it, I don't even know why I still have this one in here or need it because that Jazzy Cat one down there basically supersedes this. And the way I have this, this one is probably overriding the Jazzy Cat in some areas because remember how I said it loads from bottom to top? And that's probably why the increased priority is up here because this is above the Jazzy Cat one, 
the game's going to read most of this, if that makes sense. And then the Jazzy Cat one will fill in. Same with this real world signs and logos. I don't know if I need both of these in here either. Real brands, AI trailer add-on, there's another one. So now I've got three different trailer add-on things, which I may have to try on my main profile, just pulling some of these out and seeing. And then pre-pass, there's actually a pre-pass for, I think, every state that's in the game currently. Don't quote me, but I'm pretty sure there is. And then you just have other AI, tra like this puts the Ford Transit real realistic delivery companies in there. This adds actual police skins to the cars when you're in that state. Some of these are kind of self-explanatory. This is why, or this is where my mental advisor, see how it has a little gray bar at the top of the screen. So that's what I use to get that. And then I think I've discussed this before. My top corner mirrors puts them in the upper corners because they're kind of down in the center part, base game. And then you get into your physics. So realistic truck physics and realistic lights. And then come all of your sounds that you're running. The engine sounds, this is John Ruta's. So most people probably have like Creech Bomb or whatever. I think that's his name does another huge engine pack. And then I have all my Z mod engine packs. And again, if you don't, his support a lot of trucks and it even says what they support. But if you have a truck that's not supported, you can add it with this def file. So notice how every engine I have basically has two separate mods with it. It's got the base and then it's got the def, which is me adding this engine pack to the truck if that makes sense hopefully i explained that correctly so then i have all those engines and then i have the sound fixes pack which i would say probably 98 percent of people that play this game are running and then i have my interior sound effects the reason i have these above this is because this sound fixes adds some interior noise and, and all that stuff. But Zmods made this specific for these two trucks. So these are overriding this. If I'm understanding everything correctly. Seems to all be working to me. And then the interior noise mod, again, I don't even know why I'm doing that because I have these here. So I probably don't even need that. The Zmods GPS voice mod that I'm running, that's free. And then we get into graphics. This one here. Says important. Do not use with any other weather and rain and graphics type or similar mods. Please disable them. Okay. I don't know why. Because if you see right up here, I'm running realistic rain. Because honestly, I'm not a huge fan of the rain in the realistic, brutal graphics and weather. Just it's a personal thing. Nothing wrong with it. It's a little loud when you're inside, that sort of thing. So I have the realistic rain, which overrides. I'm still getting all the benefits of the brutal graphics and weather, the fog, the mist, the haze, all that crap, right? Except when it rains. Now it's pulling from this because this is loading after this. So this is taking priority. One thing that's weird, and I don't know why, is this true mirror FOV has to be above realistic brutal graphics and weather for some reason if it's not you're not going to get the the true mirror fov because the other day for some reason i had put this below here when i was messing with stuff and i went in i'm like why isn't that mod working i moved it above this and it's working so that's why this is in between those two 
And then I'm running this real fuel prices. I believe this is from Steam. Yep. Lower probability of way stations. This is also from Steam. Uh, the base game is 60% chance to get called into a way station. This drops it to 10. There are other mods out there too that will drop it to zero, basically whatever percentage you want. And then this is where I get my little circle icons for the map. And then since I'm running all those other maps, I run the crash fix for huge combo maps. This is the original loading screen because if you don't run this, this American truck simulator thing will be gone and it'll be, I think the realistic brutal graphics and weather overrides that. A couple of the map mods may as well. And then I have the Pro Mods Complete North America background map. And then the full screen map for ATS. So I will scroll down this again if anybody is wondering what the load order is. But again, I will put the link in the description of the site I use to get the load order. Now, keep in mind these load orders, they don't tell you specific mods to put in specific places except for maps because that's mainly what that site does. They will tell you where specific maps need to go, but for everything else, it's basically like trucks, trailers, UI, graphics, that sort of thing. So it's just gonna be like a category. And again, some may maybe watching this and be like, well, I don't have mine like that, but mine works fine. Great. Roll with it. Just because your order is not exactly like mine, but if everything is working for you, perfect. I would say don't mess with it. That would be my advice anyway. Yes, I would like to close. So as you can see, I'm running 22 mods or... 22 good lord 92 in this profile currently in my main profile i'm running 99 oh and the and as you can hear i have the background music louder in that profile so what do you say we get into it and i'll shut up So hopefully, the Gambino, if you are watching this, that helps. If not, let me know. And I can attempt to do better. And if that helped anybody else out, perfect. Another good thing you can do, um, link in the description for the Discord server. It's free. Join the damn thing. I think we currently have almost like 30 people in there right now but that's also the perfect place if you have questions because we have an ATS ETS channel ATS mods channel ETS mods channel and then also mod help channels for each one of those so that's another way all right let's get into this we are uh still hauling potassium from Perudo Bay, but we're starting in Coldfoot. All right, so if you remember correctly, I'm a little nervous here because we have 19 hours and 30 minutes to get this load to Wasilla, which is way south of Anchorage. And if memory serves me correctly, the f the Fairbanks to Coldfoot run took all of 13 hours, which means we're going to have to sleep. And then I think when I did the Anchorage to Fairbanks, I think I was anyway, I, it's going to be interesting. I'm fairly certain we're going to be late. And depending on the penalty, me now taking this $111,000 load may have been for nothing. I have, I don't know. So 
so hopefully this isn't as slow as it was coming up here. be something with this snow road texture because again as in the previous episode I've got it in six high and floored and I mean I could shift to seventh right now but if I do I'm it's probably not gonna be good I mean we're holding right at 15 Yeah, so if this is a 40 mile run all the way back to Fairbanks, we're definitely, definitely screwed. And I can't remember when the snow, the snowy road clears. It is north of Fairbanks, but I don't think it's that much farther north of Fairbanks to where we're going to be able to pick up that much time I got to thinking more about those asphalt road textures too again I've never been up here in real life and I can't remember from watching ice road truckers if this road is actually asphalt if it is okay I understand those asphalt textures but still when there's this much snow on the road they wouldn't be shown I'll stop mentioning it because I know somebody's saying it's like wow he really gets bent out of shape about those and it's not I don't get bent out of shape it's just shit that bugs me and I'm typically a person that will let you know when shit bugs me and there you go climb apparently on the uh, whether or not we should expand shit show logistics and there's really no change still an overwhelming response to buy another garage and honestly I don't even think I've had any more comments on it so you're seeing this Sunday and it's going till Wednesday that being said if there's not many more people that comment on it or about it then I it, then it's pretty much a done deal but I'm going to stick to my guns and I won't be doing anything until my Wednesday, which again, I'll record 
Saturday's video on because I originally said that you guys would see that on Saturday the 17th so I will no matter what happens I'll still stick to my guns I'm not going to record something early or do something early there I was talking not paying attention to shit I was however smart for once and I actually went from 6 low to 5 low instead of 6 low to 5 high proud of myself for that one See, I screwed that up, though. speed real quick. Although I am pulling pulling 49,000. So And I just noticed at the top of the screen I have a waypoint for 4 hours somewhere. I like to think I was smart at the end of the last episode and maybe put that in Anchorage, or I mean Fairbanks. I'm going to go with that because it's not often that I'm smart. So let me just have that one for a few minutes at least. I didn't it like that oh cuz I I can't remember now maybe I went five low to six low that's why I didn't like it it's 
possible. I got a lot going on in my head. that's a real sign too because that would just be fantastic why does it look like we're on a roller coaster we're going down and then straight up no are we all right well then you know what we need to do speed we can and it worked well what in the hell seven low. But, I mean, we kind of saved it in a way. I'm not having the problem I had the last time going up the other way on this one, but, I mean, it's not done yet. nothing else this is a really good route to practice shifting but again that's why I like automatic or I mean manual trucks because this would be boring as hell in an automatic. Kinda wanna test to see if there's a collision on this snowbank too that keeps you from tumbling down the hill. feel like I should hit the brakes, but we're not going to.
was going to go, but... Okay, game, register the freaking... <laughs> Good lord. about ready to pass earlier is all of a sudden gone. about y'all but I've had my fill of snow
pavement. Look at this. I'm so happy. Did you want me to stop? He looked like he's holding his hands. I, I don't have time, sir. out here I'll take up the whole damn road Super close on delivery time, I'm thinking. 12 hours remaining, it says. We have eight hours to get there, but I have to sleep in six. It's looking like we may be like 30 minutes late. Although if I get stuck behind AI trucks that are scared to take turns. nice to see she brought in nine grand anybody want to take a guess on how much this guy's pissing me off right now
my own bus. away from the uh, Exit right ahead. point that I put on the map. And I need to check the map right quick. Okay, so we did have to go that way. I put that just as a time thing. All right, so we have five hours. This is where we were originally supposed to go. That's an hour. Sad part is we have seven hours. That's six. Man, we're going to be close. Let's put that. I may have to stop and sleep there. thinking about we are we're gonna be more like five hours late or seven hours seven hours late because we have seven hours left to get there and we have ten hours left to do it in but I have to sleep so we're gonna lose ten hours right there all right now we just have to cross our fingers it's not a massive penalty
past these guys, but I have a feeling that if the minute I do, there's going to be another car coming from the other direction. Come to damn near a complete stop to make that turn, jackass. area that's closer to the delivery spot, but I don't think we're going to make it. I totally forgot to tell you guys what what happened yesterday. <laughs> I uh, recorded episode 55 yesterday afternoon, and then after dinner, or actually before dinner, probably around 3, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, I guess, I went to edit it. Pulled in my other other files, the uh, subscribe animations and crap that you see at the beginning, middle, and end of the uh, videos. The day before, I was cleaning off my uh, SSD that I used to save all the videos. Because I almost had two terabytes full already of videos, and I got to think, I'm like, why am I saving all of these old ones that are, you know... So anyway, I did some cleaning. Well, apparently I got clean happy, and I deleted more shit than I should have. Totally forgot that the Adobe Premiere Pro files... Good lord, I took that a little fast. Uh, the Adobe Premiere Pro files that I was using, or programs. Okay, Ty. Okay, and, and game. You didn't want to take any other gear, but all of a sudden you take one low because... Anyway, yeah, here we go. Freaking story time, and Ty can't shift. Not programs, projects. The Adobe projects. I thought when I saved the file that I used 
that it didn't need the other files in there, if that makes sense. Uh, but it did. So when I went to edit the video and pull in those files, I got an error saying we can't locate the files needed or whatever like that. And I was like, what? That? So then I had to go re-download the originals, which took about an hour to figure out where the hell I got those from. And then I spent about four hours last night and two hours today fixing it. So I had to rebuild all of those. And those are the keen eyes so you can tell that I did a couple of things differently since I had to rebuild them, but... Yeah, because I couldn't remember how I did it. And I wasn't gonna, I was too damn stubborn to pull up the YouTube video again that showed me how to do it. I'm like, nope, I'm gonna remember this shit. I figured it out eventually, just took me a little longer. Yeah, so that was fun. I have since saved those files, the originals, and I've also now saved a copy of the ones that I currently made, so if that, and on a completely different drive. So if that shit happens again, at least I know I can go back to at least where I'm at right now for that. And I actually have a good storage plan. It's just I was an idiot. Shocking. I know. Okay, Pepsi. You're lucky I have to stop up here because... Okay, state troopers, post office, fuel. Got You're it. Straight. No, I'm not freaking going straight. I'm going right in here. Here's the problem, though. And yes, I realize my trailer's probably still out in the road. I really don't care. Okay, so no, it is around the other side. Perfect. Oh yeah, I am, I am blocking traffic. That's awesome. So it should be back here where these other trucks are. Parked like that. Hopefully I don't have to park like that. Can you drive around there? No, you can't. So please let me get a icon here. It's not going to, is it? No, it's not. Display, display. No, it's not. Frickin' Okay, so you know what we're gonna do? I'm not playing this bullshit today. What the hell did I run into? I should have probably realized that and dropped those trailers back by the few island more. As you can see, I just made shit and I just backed into my trailer, apparently. Yep, nice. And now, why won't it? Okay, again, could we put sleep triggers that are actually... Whatever, anyway. Oh, stop the engine. Okay, fine. Maybe it's cold out and I needed the engine to run to keep me warm. Game. Shit. Yep. Hear that sound, folks? The Nokia ring tone? It's because we're late.
Okay, wrong. Hit the right damn buttons. Oh, apparently there's a ditch there. That's what I hit. Why did that just say seven hours to get there? Oh, because the map is screwed up and it has me going back up here and turning around instead of just coming down right. Anyway, we've got three hours and 50 minutes left on the trip. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, episode 56 comes to an end. If you made it this far, I appreciate you. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And don't forget to drop a like on your way out. And until the next one, y'all take care. Bye.